the British Library has not one but three web archives. To make things more complicated, access is different for each. This video will explain what you can find in each archive and how to get to it. First, there is the Archive of UK Web Space for the years 1996 to 2013, which is taken from data collected by the Internet Archive for sites with addresses that end .uk. This archive is not complete, but it does cover the whole of UK web space. So to take you back to 1996, you could read about Greenwich being chosen as the site of a new dome to mark the millennium, Dolly the clone sheep being born in Scotland, the Prince and Princess of Wales obtaining a divorce, or Glenn Hoddle becoming the New England football manager. If all of that seems a long time ago, it gives you an idea of the time span covered, from the beginning of the Millennium Dome to the London Olympics, from the divorce of the Prince and Princess of Wales to the birth of their grandson. You can search this archive here. In contrast, our second archive is deeper, but, for now, more restricted in time. In April 2013, Parliament gave the British Library the right to collect the entire UK web space, and it started doing just that, in partnership with the other five legal deposit libraries for the UK. This is an enormous amount of information. This second archive already includes the death of Margaret Thatcher and the referendum on Scottish independence. Unfortunately, the legislation that gave the right to collect this information also made it only legal to access it inside a UK legal deposit library, so you will have to go to one of these libraries to use this web archive. Finally, there is the Open UK web archive. This is a curated set of websites focused around themes like the credit crunch, the general elections of 2005 and 2010, or the London Olympics. Because it is carefully curated material, with more contextual information, this might be the best place to start using a web archive. Its coverage begins in 2004 and continues right up to the present. Come and explore these three web archives.